I've got Marley out and she's getting ready to head home. So we wanted to put a little bit on tape and this is the first tape we've got to do outside. So I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to get a lot of, a lot of healing in just because of the fact that the first tape was inside and it was so cramped and quartered, um, you know, and everything. But, you know, I always work towards where the dogs need to finish up at. And that's what I did with Miss Marley. She's done very well, um, you know, out here as far as the obedience goes. She takes commands very well. No. Good. Um, you know, she's learned a couple of new things like the place, the pet cots. I can't do them inside. They slide and they make the dog scared. So I have to wait until I get outside with them. Um, you know, so she's picked this up in just the last two or three days. Um, you know, and, and we've done a little bit of, you know, just get it comes and off leash work a little bit. Just drop the leash and walk around with her. So honestly, in all honesty, those extra days really helped. But they got Marley to where she needs to be before she head home. Um, so, you know, the biggest thing is following it up from here. You know, she's had a few problems with some of the dogs at the house and some of the dogs she's fine with. So um, part of it's going to be about how you correct it. And then the other part is bringing her back for classes. You know, um, we're finally kind of getting towards the springtime where we will start having some Saturday classes, you know, but I always tell everybody appointments are necessary during the winter time. Just make an appointment with me and we'll, I'll, I'll get a dog out and work with you or whatever we need to do. All right, Miss Mars, you want to go? Okay, come on. We're going to start with the stay. Uh -uh. Good. Pay attention. Just a reminder what we're doing. Come on. <laughs> she's, a, she's a leaner. Uh, you know, it's, it's really a lab trait, so I don't necessarily, you know, always discourage it, but I do correct it a little bit. Just with my knee, kind of push her out and tell her off. Stay. As I said, stays were solid. We were getting there at week one. We just got a little bit better because of the fact that we'd had to work so many stays inside that stays just really are not that big of an issue. Um, you know, no, no. Stay. Some of that is new, you know, because she hasn't had the ground to have to sniff inside. The biggest thing with stays is to go all the way back to the dogs before you release them. So you want to get all the way back to her side. No. Okay. Okay, so release. Good girl. You can get up. Get a treat. Uh -uh. Oh, did I drop a piece or something? All right, we're going to do some circles first, and then we'll do some straight line healing. All right, let's go. Come on. Uh-uh. She likes to try to take off and sniff, and I just don't let her. Come on, hurry. What's up? There's a man-eating bag out there, huh? Sit. Pay attention. Come on, let's go. Hurry. Ah. Come on. Good. Good girl. There, let's try going past that bag again. Let's go. Hurry, come on, hurry. Hurry, get up here, hurry. Marley, good, there you go, good girl. Yep, come on, hey, good. No, sit. No, hey, it's just a bag. I promise it's not gonna eat you. <laughs> sit, silly girl. Okay, let's go. Back, back, good. Good, see it. Okay, let's go. Uh -uh. Good, no leaning. Quit, sit, good. Stay. What's well, nice is I can do movement at the end of the leash out here. Inside, it's a little more cramped and I can't quite get there. No. Stay. Remember, no has to have a consequence, so make sure... 
when she gets a little correction with a no if she stops on her own she the no worked just fine without the correction good girl okay that was awesome yes it was Hmm. good all right come on hey i know you want to play bed work you liked playing that yesterday last few days didn't you good better okay let's go nope hey pay attention good hurry Good. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. Come on. Back, back. Good. Look at how nice that is, huh? Good. Okay. Good. Sit. No. Hey. It. We'll play a couple on leash and then we'll drop the leash and do a little bit off leash for you. She loves playing this get it come game. And this is another thing that's developed since we've had the outside. Get it? Marley, come sit. I am giving her the sit command, especially right at first because she wants to come in and kind of come up. And so I've been making her sit and I try to make her sit out a little bit. Don't let her get all the way to you or she'll jump on you. Get it? Marley, come sit. No. No, no jumping. Sit. Good. Get it. Marley, come. Good. Now we're going to drop the leash. Get it. Oh, where'd it go? You missed it. Hey, there. It's right by your foot. There it is. Oh. There it is. Good girl. Come here. Sit. No, off. Sit. Off, off, sit, good, sit, good, get it, Marley, come, sit, get it, come, and as you can see, this is a game that she really loves to play, get it, Marley, come, slow down a little bit, get it, Marley, come, and now I'm not telling her sit. The biggest thing with the with the off and the getting getting her not to jump on you is walking into her, making sure she's paying attention. Off, good. Stay off, good. Sit, good girl. All right, let's go. Come on. Making her move free a little bit. All right, you ready? Place. Good. Good girl. Okay, get it. Marley, place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got to stay on it. Now, I've, you know, I know she comes inside quite a bit, and she's inside with the little dogs. So I'd have an assigned place for her. This is her bed. This is where she gets to go, and she's awfully, or when she's in the house. Um, and the way to build that is to kind of keep her in that area and then teach her to place. And you really want to get to where you can work around all sides. Okay, get it. Marley, place. Move off to this side. Get it. Marley, place. And it builds a lot of drive, a lot of momentum, and she learns how to get on the bed. Down. Good. Down. Good. From any side of the bed. And then it'll teach her to go into the other room when, and to get on the bed. And you just kind of have to start backing up room to room. But overall, she's done a marvelous job. She's doing great. Um, you know, she's had a good time, but she's really learned a lot in the two weeks she's been here. Her confidence level has come up a ton. Um, you know, she's not as scared of everything as she was when she came in. So I think that's another plus for her. This is just going to, this just kind of builds, you know. <laughs> this just kind of builds 
um, on what she already knew and that she was already really a smart dog. Um, but I think that, you know, uh, we're going to teach you where to correct her as far as when she kind of gets a little bit rowdy in the house and stuff like that. And then hopefully that'll kind of progress into she's not showing those behaviors as much. So right now we're going to put her up, give her a bath, get her all cleaned up, and we'll see how she does when you get here.